Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. Now, before this episode begins, just want to take a quick second to shout out my Twitch account because YouTube has made it illegal to uh, promote your Twitch streams on YouTube. You can't make any videos promoting a stream that is live, but they didn't say anything about promoting your Twitch channel on a video. So if you haven't already, I highly suggest you go over to Twitch and follow me because I love streaming some BMG Drive and Rackfest and a lot of other games too. So if you want to see this live, that's the place to do it. Okay, so with that out of the way, in today's episode, we are going to be checking out a car mod, a car mod that just so happens to be iconic. You may recognize it from uh, internet memes. Yeah, that's the best way I could put it. It's the Toyota AE86, or as you might know it, the initial D car. <laughs> it's it's basically a Toyota, you know, a, a late 80s, I want to say Toyota, that is right-hand drive, and it was in... What's the, what's the name of the actual show? I, I, I'm i sorry, I don't know my memes, but I know the meme, you know, the deja vu. You know, that old thing. Anyway, we have a ton, and I mean a ton of freaking choices here, all the way from like just this, this regular, all the way up to a drifter version. We have the initial D, Tofu Delivery Edition, <laughs> even. Oh, it's amazing. I know the creator's been working on this for a long freaking time, guys. And you know what? I'm going to try out the initial D version first, just because I like the way it looks. And here it is, and all its right-hand drive glory. Wow, look at the detail that was put into this mod, guys. It even has the flip-up headlights. Oh, it's beautiful. What about the interior? Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. It is absolutely <laughs> insane. The, de the level of detail on this mod is something that we don't get in this game very often. So I can already recommend this mod to you guys, and I haven't even driven it yet. That's how good it looks. All right, so... With that out of the way, let's actually drive this thing. Now, I imagine it's going to want to go sideways quite a bit because when you do see it in the show, it does. Uh, it is sideways like half the show. Let's see if we can get it sideways. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I beefed it <laughs> a little bit. Okay, that's fine. I meant to do that. By the way, I have my uh, handbrake and my uh, turn signals linked to the same button. So if you're wondering why whenever I drift the car... It turns on the, the signals like that. That's why. I think this car has custom sounds as well. Listen to how clicky this uh, this turn signal is. It's unreal. Oh, it's so clicky and so satisfying. I love it. But you know what we got to do now? Of course, we need to wreck this thing. Oh, it, it drifts so easily. Oh, I love that. We need music. Now, I saw on uh, on Twitter earlier today that uh, BMG actually responded to it because they loved it so much. Somebody had this mod and they tweaked the mod so that whenever you drift, it plays the freaking song. So when you start drifting, it'll go deja vu. Yeah, pretty insane. If you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. I think it'd be hilarious. Anyway, let's run this thing into the wall and see how it reacts. See if it's a, if it's more of a bootleg mod or like a very, very high quality mod. I, I imagine it's probably very high quality. So let's just run it straight into the wall here. Eh, somewhat straight into the wall and see. Oh! Oh! <laughs> see, that was pretty freaking good. Wow, look at that. We even got the Toyota Twin Cam 2.0. Or is that 20? Is it 20 or 2.0? I'm going to guess it's 2.0. Anyway, actually, a very nice crash. It's a very, very good JBM. I think it actually is built upon the 200BX model. I could be wrong. I think that's what it's built upon. So that could, uh, that could explain maybe why it actually looks so good while crashing. Either way, a ton of really awesome work went into this mod. All right, so let's spawn up one of the crazier additions here just to see how crazy we can actually get with this thing. So, I kind of want to... We got the Insane Drifter version. We have our Rally Edition. We'll have to check that out as well. We also have a police car, of course. I love it when cars have police cars. We have a Stanced version, if you're into that sort of thing. I don't really get the whole Stance Nation thing. I don't know. I feel like it just looks kind of weird. Anyway, let's spawn up the Time Attack version. That one looks fast. I like the colors. Blue and black, always looking fresh. So, I imagine... Oh, that is a big wing. 
Oh, buddy. <laughs> and it doesn't have the flip-up headlights. So there's actually, like, different versions of this car, which is pretty cool. Let's see how fast it goes, though. I'm very curious. Okay, backfire for days. Very, very slidey, that is for sure. Whoa, whoa. Okay, 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 okay. I can control this. I can control this. I can control this. It doesn't want to go straight. It doesn't want to go straight. <laughs> Whoops. We may have uh, slightly wrapped ourselves around the pole, but it's okay. We're going to control it this time. I just got to not gun it. I just got to not gun it, and we should be good. We have the race seats now. Look at this. And gauges. We have boost gauges. The works. That has a working clock as well. As you can see, it's 1051 in the AM right now which is a weird time for me to be recording. I usually record between the hours of 1 and 4 a.m. Oh, God! Okay. Okay, I got this. I can control it. I can control it. I can control it. Yeah! Will it still run? Oh, yeah, it still runs. That was the driver's side, by the way, that I just hit. <laughs> you got to keep in mind, this is a right-hand drive car. But it's still going. That was like, how fast were we going when we just crashed right there? We were going pretty dang fast. And we're still doing a okay, kind of. I mean, it still runs. Okay, so I'm going to say that it's a okay. That rhymed. All right, so I kind of want to try the stance edition just to see how ridiculous it looks. So we're going to go up here. Man, there's so many freaking choices. Oh, do they all have like, yeah, they all even have descriptions. It says, it's low, really low. You can't really drive it, but it is looking damn cool with that wide body kit in the forest green color. So this one has a wide body kit on it. That's pretty cool. I want a rocket bunny edition. Is that can is that doable? Look how wide. Look how thick this boy is. Yeah, so apparently this thing is almost undrivable. We're going to try to drive it anyway. Oh. Yeah, this is a uh, <laughs> Interesting experience. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel like I'm driving a car. It feels like I'm driving like a forklift or something. I don't know. Maybe not a forklift, but something that isn't meant to go long distances. That's what it kind of feels like. And I feel like if I hit a crumb in the road, I would break the entire front of my car off. Let's see if we can go over a simple curb here. Nope. Nope, we can't. Not without losing both. Uh, oh, we lost the skid plate and the front bumper. So, yeah, stanced edition looks cool. Probably cool to, for, you know, for pictures and stuff. But for actual driving, probably not a good idea. All righty. So, what else do we have here? I know I kind of want to try. I kind of want to try the drift edition just to see how drifty this car can get. Because it says Japanese drifting in a powerful AE86 with upgraded intercooler and lots of of power and really cool graphics as well. What, what was on the side of this thing? Is it anime? It's anime. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what I expected, but it, it, you know, actually I did. It, it was that. That's what I expected. Anyway, let's see if it can drift. It can drift. Oh, you don't even have to try. It just goes. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay. There's a very, very small handful of cars that I can actually, actually drift in this game. And I can already tell this is gonna be one of them when we don't hit curbs. Okay. Okay, we're still good though. Oh, I beefed it. Yep, yeah, I beefed it a little bit, but just take my word on this. This thing is fairly easy to drift. If you're even somewhat capable of drifting, you're one, you're better than me at drifting. And two, you'd be able to drive this thing like a dream. I kind of want to, I don't have the map downloaded right now, but maybe on stream or something. Go follow me on Twitch, by the way. Uh, maybe sometime on stream, you know that Japanese map with like the Mount Fuji in the background and like lots of places to drift. Maybe I'll have to take this thing around that circuit. I think that would be just perfect. So, but you know, West Coast USA is pretty good for drifting too. Some places, probably not this is probably not the best place to do it, but I'm still drifting up a hill, baby. That's what I'm talking about, and we're crashing again. <laughs> oh, all righty. So what else was there? Like I said, there's so many freaking options on this car, guys. Uh, we have a track, a race edition. Ooh, 
I wonder if the race edition is faster than the time attack. It says, this is one of the most iconic AE86s. Comes with a racing livery and the legendary Formula Atlantic 20V silver top engine, which revs up to... Ooh, 1,200 RPM. Racing shocks, brakes, br springs, brakes, and tires should make this the beast on the track. Well, why don't we go ahead and test it on the track? I feel like I messed up a lot saying that last sentence, but I haven't slept in a lot of hours, so I my mind is a little gone right now, but I still have enough of my mind left to want to race this car. So where's the racetrack on this map? It's over here, isn't it? Yes way the heck over here so we're gonna go ahead and spawn it right in here somewhere yeah you know what? we don't need to start at the starting line that's for suckers we're gonna start right here and see how good this thing is at racing it's too, it feels like it's still really wanting to slide but not as not as bad as the other one so yeah i wonder how fast this can we go 200 in this car i think we can actually no probably not we just now hit 100 miles an hour so I think this thing probably tops out about 130, 140 or so. But still, it's a race edition. It's pretty quick, especially considering what car it is. I would say it's pretty damn quick. We're not going to have enough time to slow down, are we? No. Uh-oh. 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 We're okay. We're okay. I promise. All right, so now I want to try out the Rally Edition, and for that, we're going to go to Utah, USA, and we're going to find a nice little dirt road, and we're going to do some rally racing. Well, not really racing, but rallying, I guess. Is that the right word? I don't know if it is, but I'm going to use it anyway. All righty, so here is the Rally Edition of this car, so now all we need is some sort of rally road. Here's one. Uh, where's a good spawning point? Maybe like right, yeah, you know, right here. That's fine. We're gonna go this way and see how she does off-road, baby. So far, so good. Haven't hit any rocks. Haven't wrapped myself around a tree yet. It is a little bit slidier. Slidier? Is that the right word? I don't know. It's a little bit slidier than some other rally cars I've used, but that's kind of a running theme with this mod is that a lot of the, the cars are very, very slidey. But I kind of like it, though. At the same time, it feels like I, I don't know, the car is controlling me. Kind of. I don't know. That's usually not a good thing, but oh, it has a charm to it. I will say that there was obviously so much love putting it put into this mod, and it really does show, guys. It's definitely, definitely worth a uh, download. I will say, but we need to throw this thing off a cliff. I've gone too long without crashing, so we are gonna have to. Does this lead to a cliff? Yes. 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 Here we go. Mm. It held together pretty well. It held together pretty Let's check the damage real quick. Uh, can we just flip this over? There we go. And it's a burning heap. I love it. All right, so I guess there's only one thing left to do, ladies and gentlemen. We need to go over to the Car Jump Arena and throw some of these off the jump. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, so I think I'm going to go with the race. Actually, you know what? The time attack version felt a little bit faster to me. So it also has the big wing on top, though. I don't know how that's going to affect uh, the traje trajectory, but I want to try this one. If we can even make it to the bottom without crashing, that would be great. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Barely. Jesus. Oh, okay. Okay, actually went pretty dang far about 350 not bad I think I can go a little bit farther though if I don't and Practically lose it on the way down. So let's try that again Although I'm gonna go very very slowly and ease into the gas here. That's the important thing. You got to ease into it There we go So far so good. Come on All right, now punch it punch it slowly start punching it. There we go there we go. Push it, baby. 165, I believe we were at. Oh, past the 400 mark. Beautiful. Flattened the car, but we went a little bit farther. And that's, that's really all I care about, if we're being completely honest. All right, so now finally we need to crash the initial D tofu delivery car. Because we got to be iconic, baby. So we're going to spawn this thing up. I love the tires on this thing, by the way. Just absolutely love it. Maybe I should watch that show. Is it any good? Any of you guys actually watch that show? If it is, let me know down below. All right, so here we go. 
I feel like I just rhymed like five times in a row. What the hell? That was super weird. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> I like how you can see the little fire extinguisher in the back too. Oh baby, how fast will this thing go? 120, 130, 140, 150? Yes, 152 miles an hour. Flat as a board, here we go. And about 390, not bad. And we're still in one piece. Oh, no, never mind. There they go. <laughs> Almost made it out of the sand pit. But, uh, close, but no cigar. What does this say, by the way? Tofu delivery? I don't really know. Anyway, this has been the AE86. Did I say that right? <laughs> the Toyota. The initial D car. It is available for download finally. It's been in the works for quite a while. So if you want to download it, I will have the link down below in the description. Make sure to follow me on Twitch if you want to see me play BeamNG Drive, Wreckfest, and other games live and talk to me. And I like to do community streams as well where I play with you guys. Wreckfest is so fun to play with other people. So I would, I want you guys to join me. So if you haven't already, go do that. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya!